So back in season three, a private server called AuroraFN.dev got canceled and they just completely canceled support for season four. But we've been waiting for about four months now and Aurora V2 has finally come out. And this private server features a ton of options like of course having all your skins and having all the emotes but it also has party features which lets you join your friends while you're in the server and a bunch of other extra and really cool features so today i'll be showing you guys how to get this private server in the v2 form and if you have any questions about this make sure to join either their server i'll have their server in the description or you can join our server and we'll be happy to help you if you open up a ticket so before i show you guys how to do that make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and as you guys can see in my lobby there is a subscriber so if you subscribe and you hop on one of our live streams i am friending people during those live streams so if you want to hop on those live streams you can actually get a friend request from me and play a game if you would like and let's see if we can hit a like goal of 100 likes on this video. So the first step is you got to go to auroraFN.dev and I'll have this link in the description. And once you're on this website, you have to go first go into the login page. So you're going to click on login. And then if you don't already have an account, you want to sign up. Most of you guys probably won't have accounts because they sort of reset the system. So your old Aurora accounts might not work. So first thing you want to do is add a username. This is going to be the username that's going to show up while you're inside the private server. So I'm just going to do... We'll put a random one like XLGB. And then for the email, I will be putting in the email that I use for my alt. And this can be any email. And if you don't you're not comfortable sharing your personal email, you can just create a second Gmail and that'll also work. And then just create a password. And then you're just gonna click on sign up. So pretty simple, just like every sign up page on the internet. And then you're just gonna click on confirm. So once you're in here, you can save your password or whatever. And then you can see your account is up here. So you can change the profile, you can change your display name, whatever you want. And again, you'll not be able to actually hop into games because that would just not be fair. That would be like getting them all for free and then being able to play. This is just for the lobby. And none of these accounts actually have the skins. They're just changing up some of the code so that it just looks like you actually have the skins. So just to update about that so if you want levels you can change your level so we can just stick with the 100 and you can just update that or you can just go with the 999 i would just not change any of this stuff because unless you really want to i just wouldn't mess with it because sometimes it can mess some stuff up and same thing with the battle pass you can change the battle pass but i'm just going to leave it as is just to be safe so then you can change the item shop, you can add what's inside the item shop in the feature section and you can add what's in the daily section. So if you want to do that, uh, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to leave it as the default and you can also add Aurora friends. So once you have this done, you're going to click on download and again, if you want their help, of course, it's their server so you can join their discord, but we're also happy to help you because we know some about Aurora with our discord in the description. And you can also check out their Trello. If you don't know what Trello is, it's basically a task manager that you can go into and see all of the tasks that are pending and people can complete them in the work group. So you can just see what's upcoming in Aurora by clicking on that. So of course you guys probably just want the download, so we're just going to click on the download. And then you're just going to click on download right here. So it's a pretty small file. You just want to drag it over to your desktop like I'm going to. There might become this virus thing, but if you click on it, you can just disable your virus protection. So let's keep on doing it again. So now we're going to drag it over here and we're going to click over here and we're going to do extract. So once that is done, it should not say that there's any more viruses. And then of course you can re-enable the viruses right after you do this. So I'm just going to click on over here and we're just going to extract, or we've already extracted. So I'm just going to click on over here and we have Aurora. So it's pretty simple, there's just a DLL and a launcher and for this to work you have to have Fortnite installed on your computer. So I have it installed obviously, you can see it like right here. So make sure it is installed on your computer and if it's not installed on your main um, SSD or hard drive, you want to change the file location and I'll show you how to do that. So we're just going to log in. So with the email, and then we're going to put in the password, and we're just going to click on the login button, and that should log us in. So we are in now, we're logged in as XLGB, 
and you can see all these links this is the website this is their discord this is the settings so i have fortnite installed on my external hard drive so i'm just gonna click on the settings and i'm gonna change it so it already knows where it is i guess so this is my e drive which is my external drive game is fortnite so that is fine and now we're just gonna launch aurora and this might take a few seconds to launch but it'll eventually happen Okay, so it started loading in, and you guys can already see that code in the background. That's just basically loading in the Fortnite API, um, just to show that you have all the skins. So we're just going to wait for it to load in. It usually doesn't take that long, since it's not actually connecting to Epic services, since we're not going to actually be playing Fortnite Battle Royale. So we're just going to log in. And you want to make sure you hit Battle Royale, not the other two. And once we are in here, you will see in the locker... And you can see Aurora. You can see in the locker that we will have all of these skins in the entire game. And this is very similar to all the other private servers. Basically all the same skins. And of course they have the henchman skins. They have the IO trooper this time because we have those new IO troopers. We got the marauders from the previous season, season 3. We got henchmen from season 2. And we even have the stark bots from previous seasons so i'm just gonna put my quality up to high and we will see them much better there we go so we got the mandalorian we got aim we got like every single skin in the entire game we got the og black knight and there's just you can just basically troll your friends if you really want to so Let's see if we can find the Renegade Raider that you guys probably want. So you can just use the search bar. There you go, we got the Renegade Raider right here. And you can even get any back bling. So let's just choose... We can literally choose any back bling. We can choose the Captain America back bling. And another thing I've noticed when you're in Aurora, they've already done this for you, but if this is not selected, you have to choose a pickaxe in a glider or it will literally not let you into the lobby it won't show your actual skin in the lobby if you don't do this so that just select any glider and any pickaxe and it's already done that and there you go we have the renegade raider in the lobby so another really cool feature about aurora is that it has these extra emotes that you can't get normally on different characters so these are the built-in emotes so let's see what we have so I always have to go through it manually. You guys probably already know what the built-in emotes are. So you can just do them on your own. But I'm not sure if this is built-in emote. Here we go, we got the Venom. That is a built-in emote. So if you double click on that and you have it in here, when you go into the lobby and you click on the built-in emote, your character will do that. And it's gonna look really weird. So that's another really cool feature that you can't do anywhere else. We got the Wolverine. I'm not sure what the Mystique one will do, that, that's going to be interesting. So let's see. Yep, these ones are locked. So you can't get the ones that require you to actually do awakening challenges like last season. You can only do the ones that came with the skin. So we also have a ton of other emotes. We got more built-in emotes. Any built-in emote from season 2 will work. Like this. And then I'll show you guys how to get the different enlightenment styles. So if we go in here and you go over here, you can choose any enlightenment style from any season or any like battle pass character. So we're, I'm gonna choose the, we can choose the Mandalorian. You can get any edit style. So we can see what it'll actually look like once you have all of these stuff unlocked. So that is the Mandalorian in full Beskar armor. So you can even get the brand new styles that came out last season that were the foil styles. So if we choose this, you'll see that Tony Stark is in the foil style. And there we go, we have the foil style. You can even check out the battle pass. We have everything in the battle pass. And I'm not sure if there are actually any extra level up rewards this season. Oh, there are. So we can be Sapphire. So if you go over here, you can also choose the Sapphire versions of every single person. So let's see who can actually get Sapphire. I'm not sure if it's every single character. So 
we have we can do the condor sapphire condor go in here condor and then we click on him go to edit style doesn't look like they have it yet so there's some skins that you cannot get the edit styles for yet we'll just have to see when they get updated later in the season but this is basically it so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like if you have not already and make sure to subscribe so that you know when all the new private server updates come out and when the newest lobby bots also come out